Good morning, Ms. Truitt's third grade students. I'm here today to talk about day 12 in our math packet, um, second packet for BCSD's distance learning. And what I notice is we're multiplying by three factors. So they've given us some examples here of ways you can multiply three factors. You can put parentheses around two of the factors and then multiply by that second factor. All right, so they've shown us a few different ways. You can take the two times two if you have that in parentheses and multiply it four times. So they've made two um, groups of two into one group here, two times two is four, two times two is four, that's two groups, two times two is four, three groups, two times two is four, four groups. So this will be four plus four plus four plus four. Another way of doing that is showing it with just the parentheses and not a picture. You would multiply whatever you have in parentheses. So the two times two, you decide which one's easier for you to multiply first and which factor would be the easiest to multiply by the second factor, right? And then four times four, you bring down that four, is 16. Here's another example. They have modeled two times two times four, and all they've done is they switched the parentheses. So it's showing you you could put the parentheses around two times two, or you could put the parentheses around two times four. If you did two times four, you are making two groups of four. Two, the first number tells you how many groups, and the second number tells you how many in each group. Two times four, so this would be eight, and another group of two times four is eight. And the reason I'm making two groups is because of that first number. All right, so two times two times four. Bring down your two, two times four is eight. Two times eight equals 16. Both of these answers equal 16. Whichever way you do it is fine. What I'd like you to do is decide it says it does not matter how you group the factors, the product does not change. I want you to decide which of the factors you should group first. So we're going to start with this 5 times 2 times 3. I know if I multiply 5 times 2, I get 10. And if I multiply 2 times 3, I get 6. I feel like starting um, using that 5 times 2 would be a little bit easier for me. So. I'm going to multiply 5 times 2 to get 10, and then I'm going to bring down my 3 and multiply that 10 times 3. And 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So I could have done it the other way around, where 2 times 3 is 6 and 5 times 6 is 30. Either way, you guys are really good at counting by 10s and counting by 5s. Um, you can, it says, um, just find each product. So you can show your work this way, or you can show it like they did up above. And um, I'm going to group this time the 2 and the 6. So let me rewrite it over here. So 2 times 6, um, so that's going to be 2 groups of 6. So we have, let's just do x's, one, two, three, four, five, six x's. You could have done counters as well. One, two, three, four, five, six x's. This is one group. And I'm, and um, this is two times six. And I'm doing it two times because it says multiply that by two. See, remember up here we multiplied this by two, so there was two times four and two times four. So this is going to be two times six and two times six. All right, so two times six is equal to 12, and I would add that to another 12 and that would be equal to 24. This does take up quite a bit of my space on my paper here. So you can flip the paper, do your work on the back um, to give yourself a little bit more space. 
So again, let's check our work. 2 times 6 is 12. And then when I multiply that 12 times another 2, I would get 26. So you may show your work with a picture. The two numbers you're multiplying by show the picture. And the other number, the third number you're multiplying by, tells you how many pictures to make. Okay, so you can do it either way. You don't have to show both ways, boys and girls. So then moving on, um, oh, I realize this problem down here is a little tricky, so I think I'm going to go over this one as well. 5 times 2 times blank equals 80. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide what is 5 times 2. I can count by 5 twice. 5, 10. 10 times blank equals 80. Okay, what number can I multiply by 10 to get to 80? So I can count by 10s until I get to 80. So let's practice. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I can count by 10 eight times to get to 80. So that's all you have to do on these bottom problems. For my day 12 math task, it is the same type of problem that we just did. I would like you to try it out on your own. I will set it up for you. Oh, actually, this one is different. Excuse me. Chris and Katie each receive four smile stickers a week for three weeks. How many smile stickers did they earn all together? So they each, both of them, it's telling me each, I'm going to box that, receive four smile stickers. Let's do our cubes method. Four smile stickers. And a week is important. Every week they do that for a total of three weeks. My question is, how many smile stickers did they earn all together? A couple more keywords that are important, how many and all together. All together is a word that would tell me to add or multiply, okay? So um, if each of them earns four stickers, this is what I know, Chris and Katie earn four stickers um, per week. And they earn these four stickers for three weeks. And then um, they earn these four smile stickers for three weeks. I have to think of the best way to solve this. So one way I could do this is I could, so I could draw a picture. So each of them earns four smiley stickers every week. So that's one week of smile stickers for Chris. And the same I can make I can make pictures for Katie. She's going to earn four smile stickers each week. So what they want you to find out is this is week one. How many would they earn in three weeks? So boys and girls, I would like you to continue this math task and figure out how many smile stickers they earned in total for all three weeks all together. And then I would like you to write a um, addition or multiplication problem to show your work because we know this is all together and all together tells me either to add or multiply, add or multiply. All right, please.